Hi, it's Charisma at Charisma's Corner and it's been quite a while since I posted any new videos but I thought I should start posting a little bit more because I have since become a pattern designer and I've released a bunch of wool penny and wool bit kind of patterns and also I'm hosting a retreat um, this October and I have one planned for March and so I wanted to just kind of kick off that um, registration with some new embroidery stitches and some maybe things that I'll show you that I do on some of mine. So this first one isn't really an embroidery stitch but a few people have asked because they've seen some of my samples and uh, whatnot and I don't even know it just kind of dawned on me one day um, a friend had gifted me some of her sewing supplies and I'm not really a sewer I'm a quilter but I um, saw these little rings and I thought I don't even know what these are used for but I think I can add these into my embroidery and so um, an idea was born and so then I went to Amazon and just looked up plastic sewing rings I didn't because I didn't know what they were and they had a bunch of different sizes and you can get them in a pack of 50 um, these ones are I think um, half an inch but you can get them in all different sorts of sizes so I have a few here and you can see in this piece that I finished several months ago um, the ring here and then I just stitch over it with thread and then I decorate it in different ways so I have one here that I just did um, I used a bunch of uh, variegated thread this one over here on this one is I used um, DMC variegated thread and I used six strands to go over that but you can see the graduation of color is very um, it, it takes a lot to get a graduation of color. You have to do a lot of stitches. On this one over here, it's not Sue Spargo. Um, she has a great line of variegated threads. And because she is also um, a person who works with small bits of wool, she designed her own thread so that the colors would change more rapidly than the DMC floss. Um, so for the little projects, sometimes it's really nice to get her, her thread because you do get um, a, a more color around the wheel. So I have one kind of ready here for you. I put a smaller, this small size fits great on those um, smaller wool pennies, but you can also, if you wanted to, um, as a design element, stitch one inside a bigger one if you didn't want to, you know, decorate that. Um, so what I do is I just put a stay stitch on either side. You can actually do a stay stitch um, just to keep it in place while you're stitching, um, you know, on all four sides especially this is um, a DMC thread so the color isn't going to change uh, very rapidly but this is and this is six strands so it's going to cover it pretty rapidly it's a bigger um, amount of thread and so I have it all I have it very secure where I want it and I'm just doing a normal stitch all the way around and if you have to go back and fill in, if you didn't um, get the stitches close enough, that's perfectly fine. But you can see it starting to come together here. And on the outside, I've decorated them different ways. You can do a running stitch or you can use this as the center of a flower and do a bunch of bullion um, loops or something to make a flower petal. You can do lazy daisies. French knots. You can fill the center with um, a bunch of French knots to just kind of give the center of the flower some um, added texture and dimension. Um, you can see on the other one that we showed you that um, I just put some pistol stitches and big stitches to just kind of create um, a little maybe show piece around a little flower um, but even if you just wanted to kind of keep it simple and leave it on its own it is has so much dimension in the piece that you could absolutely do that because it is really pretty and just provides good texture color and dimension I 
I'm really excited for the embroidery retreat. We have several people signed up already and we do still have some more openings if anybody's interested. Um, it's going to be a three day retreat and I'm really excited. I think we're going to have a lot of fun doing a project. And I just wanted to say too that um, I have all of my patterns listed on my Etsy site which you can find um, Charisma's Corner or just do a search for my name Charisma Horton and you can also find me on Facebook and my website is charismascorner.com and all of my patterns and everything are also listed on a tab at the top of the page there. And you can see that we almost have this halfway done. And then you can see that the thread is starting to get a little bit lighter, but it hasn't really started changing yet. We're gonna get to that on the second half. I'll do a few more stitches. Just very gradual on the DMC floss, but it's really pretty. One more stitch to finish that section. Okay. So there concludes, I don't even know, the wrapped sewing, um, the wrapped sewing ring. It's just a little wrapped sewing circle to put on our wool pennies to just kind of give them that extra little dimension and texture. So thanks for joining me today and I can't wait to help you along on your stitching journey. So just contact me if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.